going to talk about politics, global politics, how it affects the economy, how it affects our society, what it might mean for you as individuals, for your business and the industries that you work in. Well, I spend an awful lot of my time now interviewing politicians specifically about Brexit and opinion formers about Brexit. So I suppose by hook or by crook, I've sort of developed a bit of a, a niche uh, for myself. And as a result, a lot of people ask me what I think is going to happen next, uh, what, you know, what sort of things might unfold in Parliament. And from that, it's only a short step, really, to, to getting on the stage and telling people what I think and, and the way it might unfold. But uh, there aren't any straight answers on Brexit, as we know, and it changes. So trying to advise people on what's going to happen with Brexit is a fool's game. And anybody tells you they know, frankly, is lying. We're going to talk about the big political picture, OK? They say, don't they, that a week is a long time in politics, but half an hour, take it from someone who works in a busy newsroom, half an hour feels like an eternity at the moment. It is so fast moving. Well, obviously, I'm very political focused. I spend a lot of my time talking about Donald Trump or Brexit or geopolitics, global affairs, that sort of thing. So I bring a lot of that to the speaking events that I, that I go to. There's lots of anecdotes that I pick up along the way, lots of politicians who I speak to, of course. Uh, and people are always interested in those. And so I bring a, a little bit of the experience that I have as a broadcaster to, to the events that I, that I host. We always frame, I think, as broadcasters, I think we do, we always frame the European Union as what it was. And of course, the European Union is marching on. And we never have a debate as a country, I don't think, about, well, let's part Brexit to one side, we're going back to the European Union, as uncomfortable as it would be to sit back at the table again and say, oh, you know all that, let's just forget that. But, but what is it that we're buying into? What, are we really a country, an island economy that, that wants federalism? I have very short horizons at the moment. My life is completely about Brexit, so I stand on College Green in the spring, the summer, the winter, uh, in all seasons, and I look to the next big event in Brexit, and, and I'll be doing that tomorrow night. Uh, I'll be doing it all the way through to January, uh, and I can't plan for anything else at the moment. It is just simply all about Brexit.